Dom video, I rented out an Airbnb because I wanted a nice background for my video. My house isn't ugly or anything. I live in the suburbs now. Look at me, I'm a suburban dude. Shut up, Kodak. Anyways, I just wanted something different. My parents drive me to the house because I'm a 19 year old without a license. But anywho, the owners of the Airbnb were actually renting out the basement of their home and not the entire house. Go into the basement. This place is beautiful. Modern look, 80 inch flat screen TV, amenities, the couch had an iPhone charger installed into it. That's the type of place we're dealing with here. I kick my parents out. Soon as they leave, I turn on all the lights. Y'all are probably like, oh Stanley, that's it? You just turned on all the lights? If you have any parents of culture, you know that the instant you got more than two lights on for over five minutes, it's a problem because you're about to turn around and get beat with a light switch. Perfect. Second thing I do is I go into the refrigerator and I crush all the amenities, the water, the milk, the hot chocolate, fizzy water. I don't even like fizzy water, but I drunk it anyways. I wasn't even thirsty. Then I started eating the popcorn, trail mix, chips. I was literally eating ice cubes from the freezer. My mouth was colder than my ex's heart. Y'all not ready for that story though. Anyways, the owner of the Airbnb even baked cookies. They were rock hard, but did that stop me from eating them? Nope. I had the whole area empty. After I wake up from having a food coma, I start FaceTiming people because I want them to see how nice the place I'm staying at is. I post a couple of pictures on my Instagram account. <coughs> I'm still <in> the animation. <clears throat> at some point, I invited MTV over and we shot an episode of Welcome to My Crib. Another thing I do, and I don't want y'all to think I'm crazy, but even though I know that the owners of the Airbnb are supposed to profit off of me staying there, I can't help but feel like I gotta match what I paid for. For example, if my Airbnb is $130, I need to use $130 worth of stuff before I leave. It's just, I don't know, I feel obligated. It's kind of like when you're at a buffet and you pay $20 to get in, but subconsciously you're like, okay, I gotta at least eat $24 or I just wasted my money. Mama mentality. So how do I use $130 worth of stuff? I left all the lights on while I was asleep. I ate everything I could eat. When I decided that that wasn't enough, I went to the bathroom, closed the drain, and took a bubble bath. It's barely morning, the crackheads aren't even up yet and I'm having a spa day. Oh, and the soap for the bubble bath was theirs. And I'm pretty sure the owners woke up to the sound of running water and had to deal with that for like 20-ish minutes. Cause around the time I did that, the walking upstairs got a little bit more aggressive. They're gonna get their water bill next month and I know for a fact they're gonna come looking for me. I can feel it. So if y'all don't see me after this video, call for help. Last thing, I completely renovated the Airbnb. I moved so much stuff in and out of the way. Tables, chairs, couches. At some point, I brought a bulldozer through and just boom, broke the whole basement down just to bob the building back up. So for all y'all that are in my comment sections like, oh my gosh, Stanley, I wanna meet you so bad. If I come spend the night at your house, don't be surprised if you close the lights then wake up with a crane in your living room and the new vanity loft area that you didn't have the night before. That's all I'm saying.